Football leagues are funny, this is a tight one this year. Um, sometimes if you're in a league and you're away out on your own and, and things are there, it's very difficult to lift your game. But does it make it easier for Dundee because there's so many teams performing at their top level and they're performing well, does it make it easier to, to maintain the focus where you're going because everybody else is going in the same direction? I don't know, I've never really looked at it like that if I'm being brutally honest. Um, I just know that the the way we've worked since we've come in is we've always looked at the next game. Um, you know, if we were, you know, won 12 out of 12, we'd still be saying the same thing. If we'd, if we'd you know, won four on the trot, we'd still be saying the same thing. It's uh, you can only go by the game that's the next one, and in my opinion, and that's that's why we've been focusing on obviously Queens. And, and looking at Queens, there they have obviously um, invested quite heavily in their, their apparently their, their so, yeah. Details from there, Bre raising the standard of, of what's there and what people out with of the league might stereotypically look at them being a, a smaller team and Dundee being a bigger team. No, I think like like I say. Uh, People have um, been quick to educate me on the story of Queens and obviously the amount of money that's been uh, allegedly put in. And um, you know, fair play to him if you can get it, spend it. That's what I say. So um, you know, Owen knows how to do that, and he's done that well with the players that he's got in. Um, but you know, I think what that does do is obviously it raises the expectations of their supporters as well. So. It's like us, myself, and Owen. We won't pay any uh, particular attention to that expectancy because expectancy's never won you a game. And you know, it's all about what you actually do on the day and the, what you do in the build-up to it. So you, you've done quite well against Queen so far this season. A couple of good results against them. Hoping to continue um, along that that route. Has it? Have, have you been able to pick up a lot of things from the two previous games that you think will help you? Uh, I think right. you always look at the games in terms of you know what what you did well and what you can improve on. Um, like I say, I think from the first game to the second time we played them, there was a big change in terms of their personnel with the the, the players that they were able to bring in, um, and then obviously players are missing through illness and injuries that have returned from them. So. You know, you're always learning and looking at obviously their their personnel and ways that, which, like I say, we can exploit and and be aware of things that we have to do as well to stop them. So Friday nights coming along under the floodlights as yes. happens on the Friday. Yeah. What are you looking looking forward to most about this Friday? Well, it's the this just the, it's the fact that it's the next game. I know that sounds a bit repetitive, but that that's it. It's the next game. It's the next opportunity. Like I just said, we're. Three unbeaten in the league ourselves. It's a chance for us to go and t test ourselves against the team that beat the top of the league last week and get another measure of where we are. Is it frustrating? Because obviously you've been there yeah. yourself and you do get an injury yeah. and, you, and it takes out that team. And, and how difficult is it to get back up? Uh, it can be hard. Listen, to see, I'd, I'd, I'd missed um, air last week for an illness. Um, there's a few boys we know well. They say we niggles here and there. It can, it can be frustrating because you want to... I say, there's nothing better than when you're playing all the time and you're getting in that routine and I think that's when you play your best football when you're playing uh, constantly but football doesn't work like that I mean you can go the more and something can happen in training you get injured you miss the game like it's just a bit I think the older you get you get more used to it and you get there's ways of controlling it um, but listen to say this, we've got a, a squad capable there that if somebody is stepping out or somebody is no well then we've got players that are more than capable of stepping in and I think that's a good thing um, and I say just, just keep pushing each other from your own point of view, is, is that something that um, you feel is, is good to be able to, to have that support around yeah. you and, and the size of squad that they have here? Uh, I, hundred percent. I said, I said it's very rarely players go a full season without having having something, an illness, or an injury, or something. So having a squad where you've got players that are, that are quite easily to step in, and they say the way we train is, is tough. So boys are ready to play. It's not as if you're you're missing a couple of games and you're having to get up to match fitness. The, the way we train, but the boys are the boys are staying fit um, and ready to go once called up on. So, um, as I say, it's the boys that have got the jersey now that it's up to them to keep it. Um, and as I say, just just keep training well and, and, and playing well, and, and hopefully that'll take care of, take care of itself. You're you're in a, a week this season that there's probably about five teams that any one of them yep. on any <coughs> week could end up in that top yep. spot because it's it's just so tight at the top there. Again, from from the, the point of view from Dundee, does that make it better? 
to, to, to play under these circumstances yeah. where every week there could be a change in the top? I think it's good. It's, it's good for the, the neutral watching because because the, the leagues are. I say I don't know how many teams have been top this year, but it's got to be up there anyway. But with the changes, and I say if we if we win on Friday night, we can go joint top, and as I say, teams will get a chance to get back back up there on Saturday again. It's just it's mixing and matching. I say it's, it's a bit of consistency. I say if a team can put a good run of results together, a bit of consistency, then there's no there's no reason why you can't you can't pull away and give yourself a cushion at the top. And as I say, that's what we're looking to do, but taking a game at a time. Queen's Park, what investment obviously this season, has that been something that you've been keeping an eye on, the players that are now there and, and how you're going to yeah. you know, accommodate them when they're, they're playing up on the Aye, I guess I, I've played with a few boys that are there, um, so we've played them twice this season already, so we know what they're capable of, watched them quite a few times um, and as I say, they've got a way of playing and they're good at it. Um, See, so they've got players that have played at a good level as well. So, to say we we know ourselves, we need to be at it. I say we've had two good results against them this year, but they've been tight games, um, and and we know that we can't just turn up. We need to, we need to be at it to get something there.